a number of challenges in terms of bringing in new audiences and keeping them engaged. It's about ensuring that we are providing the latest news and information on whatever platform they need in whatever um, format they wish to consume it. And that presents challenges in making sure that our teams are really across what those latest platforms are and the ways that we gather and tell that news and information just to make it really relevant for those audiences. The challenges are increasing because businesses are struggling during this pandemic and the advertising expenditure has been declining. We need to collaborate between the editorial team, the SEO team, IT team and also the business team. We need to identify our audience to uh, serve them better. The format of the Audience Lab was comprised of one-to-one -one audits um, with our instructors and also sprints. This was a great combination. We were able to map out exactly what we needed to achieve, all the steps required and provide everybody involved in those individual sprints with deadlines and goals. Our sprint exercise was improving our website to make sure that it fits the needs uh, for our audience to make sure that everything is good and according to, so to say, standards. We decided to do a survey because we've never had an audience survey before and we didn't know that our audience is actually very much in a young age. 17 to 35 is the majority and they consume news from social media. That's why we need to create content that is more uh, trending. Referring to the Google Analytics data, six months post lab, we have a significant increase of readership. Last year, we had around 20 million page views per month, but in February 2022, it has reached 30 million page views in a month. The immediate impact we saw from the exercise, we had a fantastic newsletter series and in the initial week we had over 400 people who signed up to that newsletter series and that saw really, really strong engagement. We had about a 60% open rate and click rates of between 15 and 20%. So that was really successful for us. We are still using things that we get from the audience lab. Uh, one of them is using the sheet on content optimization. We can understand the score of the article title that we put on the website and that gives us more confidence. One of the things that I enjoy the most that is that we are using the methods that we learn from the lab on our daily basis. For example, the sprint method to review and plan our podcast. And this is something that we put in mind all the time to put the audience first. What we learned from the Audience Lab is a greater understanding of how our audiences are responding to content on different types of platforms. There was a landing page, there was a newsletter series, there were social channels as well, and each of them had differing levels of audience response. That was really useful for us to look at and see what result we got based on the effort that we put in and perhaps where we can focus our efforts going forward. We have foster relationships with other cohorts and other publishers. We need to learn more about their experience in expanding their viewership and also engagement. Because we are sharing the same environment and also share the same pain and see the same opportunities as well.